Let me take a moment to describe what Save the Music Incorporated, now in its 30th year as a tax-exempt not-for-profit corporation, has to do with the war in Ukraine. As the world watches the courageous people of Ukraine defend their country against a monstrous invasion at the command of an unstable tyrant, compassionate individuals and entire nations are contributing weapons, medical equipment, food, money, and some 20,000 individuals from around the world are in Ukraine now to fight alongside the defenders. Energized by the sight of a brave nation giving its lifeblood for the preservation of their independent homeland, the world, and above all Ukraine, will prevail in driving out the aggressor. At such time as the invasion is totally repelled, the monumental work of rebuilding must begin. Save the Music has just established a fundraising campaign specifically focused on restoration of the recently bombed Kharkiv Concert Hall and Opera House. Our goal is $100,000. Save the Music is cooperating with cultural and governmental organizations within and outside of Ukraine in order to facilitate the work of rebuilding as soon as that work becomes feasible. Save the Music will forego any and all administrative compensation and will direct all funds received toward the speedy and effective restoration of damaged facilities. Funds will be transferred to Ukrainian authorities in such a way as to allow maximum discretion in the allocation of the funds whether they be used for physical plant reconstruction, replacement of orchestra material, or in some cases musical instruments, or for any other valid purposes necessary to achieve the main goal, and that is enabling the resumption of Kharkiv's concert and operatic musical life. Why Kharkiv, you may ask? As the second largest Ukrainian city, Kharkiv though boasting a long and proud concert music tradition going back centuries, has been until the recent barbarity little known internationally. We wish to direct our help in an area that is less likely to draw international support in comparison to the better known cities of Kiev, Odessa, and Lviv. Why now, you may ask? Why not wait until the fighting is over? With billions being spent on arms provision and the immediate rescue of the vulnerable Ukrainian citizenry, Save the Music Incorporated is acting to rescue the musical life that will be needed more than ever to give dimension and depth to everyday life for those who will be fortunate enough to return to their homes and to live in peace and harmony as before. Please make a tax-deductible contribution by going to our GoFundMe or Facebook campaigns Save Ukraine's Music. Glory to Ukraine. Peace and justice. And above all, great music to all of humankind. Thank you.